Last video, we covered how to integrate your webhooks with make.com to see when someone's added a number into your platform. So today we'll be covering going through some of the other settings, for example. So if we come back down here to number added, you can see here we have our webhook notifications set up. Now we're going to go ahead and continue on to our next section here, number unflagged. So we'll go ahead and add this next URL here and post. Now, each time that a number has been unflagged, whether it's by Verizon, whether it's by, you know, um, Icehook, for example, each time that number is unflagged, this webhook will fire off. This can be a good way to learn what numbers may be good, what numbers may be bad. If you can integrate this with your current PBX or phone system, whether that's ONSIP, free PBS, Asterix, free switch, whatever it may be, if it can support some sort of integration with webhooks or um, so whatever it may be, you can integrate with an unflag, basically saying that, okay, this number has now been unflagged, put it back into the pool, begin dialing with it again. So we'll go ahead, we'll put that URL in there with a post variable and form data form values. We add in just some of our other things from our last one, type description and call group is available. So we will add that in as well. And then we have a new one, unflagged service. So if we go ahead and add that in, unflagged, service on flagged service so now we have that in we'll copy over our other variables we will not include the same type and i'll show you here why in a minute if we add in that call group now type is used to differentiate between what is actually going on so if you use the same a url right here both of these will fire off the same url to type new number now, or excuse me, this will fire off the same URL for two different things that are actually going on. So you want to differentiate between type and you can add in routers, filters, things like that into Integromat so you can change your situation based on what's going on. I'll show you how to do that here in a minute. So for type, we'll just do unflag. And there's no other variables or values we will need. So we'll go ahead and save that. So. Now our webhooks are successfully saved. We'll come back here and we'll go ahead and unlink these. We go into tools, flow control, and we add in a router. Our trigger will now go into the router and our email will go into that. So let's say we set up a filter here, condition type, new number. You can see here our new number variable is still sitting here in the custom webhooks. When number, added so now each time that the webhook fires off and it sees a number has been added it will send us an email otherwise because we have no other parameters it will fail to do anything and will not do anything at all so if we go ahead and run that and phone numbers add phone one by one we'll just do some oh no that was incorrect we'll go ahead and add in that so now we have just some random number. It is not valid. This is only for testing purposes. You can see here that type new number and there is one right by that filter indicating that this was fired off when this happened. So now we will also take care of when a number is unflagged as well as we can clone this here. Oh, no. Set up a filter. When number added, condition type new number. So now when this webhook fires off, it will head to the router. The router will send it based on what's going on. So now when the number is unflagged, change the content here within our platform and the number with the description of call group and stored in call group. We have a number that became unflagged, current with our platform, type, and we will hit OK. So now we let this run, and phone numbers, we add in a new test number, 
Oh, no. With a default caller group. Phone number was successfully added. And now, as you can see, when the number was added, it checked with this filter here to send out that email. And because it did not match this filter here, it did not do anything with this. So essentially what happens is it went from webhook triggering to the router and the router sent it to this section right here. So now we can do this for any one of our parameters here. We head down to settings. We can do number added, unflagged, flagged, deleted, archive, or if a scan has completed on any service we currently support.